All right, this is a random Wednesday morning, just quick uh, thing. We're gonna be live from Canacon, Oklahoma City uh, tomorrow, all day Thursday, all day Friday. And yesterday when I was looking at my Swiss shard, which is bolting and uh, flowering, and I'm gonna collect a whole lot of seeds that are gonna be gifted in Cheddar Bob. Oh my gosh, it's Wicked Pissa. All right, so anyway, without further ado, uh, not that camera, but this camera, I've been doing battle with these dudes. So anyway, there is a very dead one, which was slightly alive last night. Let's see what we can get. It's always interesting, uh, kind of like different aphids focus on different things. I, so these are the little black dudes. Obviously the green ones are on my strawberry sometimes and on the weed. Um, of course this guy <laughs> just went under the bee for Cheddar Bob. Uh, yeah, there will be more James Loud stuff, just different format. Um, but uh, we will put something else on the Sunday morning time slot, our creature double feature time slot. Uh, anyway, if this guy would move, you could see. Well, Joe and I, yeah, but I think on different. So the point here is that different ones attack different plants. So like. Uh, I noticed something like black on, um, actually, you know what? I have a picture of the shard. If y'all give me one second. This is super exciting. I need the, of course, my phone's about to die. Uh, all right, let's. Okay, so here we go. So there's the shard. Uh, which is all bolting and uh, basically on one of the like only on one of these flowering you can see like see the flowering stuff shooting up so those are all gonna flower and then produce seeds and uh, a single one of them uh, as I was admiring them had the uh, <laughs> Like it was just all black. So anyway, it was these dudes. And in our pest identification fun for the gardening enthusiasts, uh, we will show different pests and then eventually, why don't I just flip you over if you're not gonna be, uh, there we go. All right, let's find this dude again. There you are. Let's get you in focus. Yeah, that's not like the best focus, but hold on. Oh, let's get some more light. That's the problem with more light. That does not look any better. All right, let's turn that light off because that's not helpful. All right. Anyway. <laughs> So my guess, oh, there we go. All right, so my guess is a black bean aphid. And our IPM experts can weigh in when they eventually watch this video. Um, all right, they're gonna crawl. Oh my gosh, there's a little baby. There's a wee one, a bairn. Back out of focus. We got a very shallow depth of field. All right, we'll let that dude go that way because we can focus on the dead one who's not going anywhere. <laughs> this dude's very uh, obedient. He's just going to chill in one spot. So basically, uh, obviously at scale, a lot of the uh, strategies probably don't work, but. Uh, I literally dunked the entire stem or the the stock that they were on into a uh, 
a vinegar water mix to annoy the fuck out of them. And then uh, I took the hose <laughs> and uh, put it on jet mode. And uh, with the Scott Scams philosophy that, uh, yeah, this guy, no, it's not a tick. That is a dead one of these which is not out of zoom. Where'd this guy go? Ah, there you are, your buddy. Do, 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 do. All right. Yeah, let me get some more light. But anyway, uh, let's see if this helps. Oh my God, he's escaping. All right, that's not you. Whoop. All right, he's missing a leg. <laughs> that may be my fault. Jesus, dude, slow down. All right, let's make this easy on myself. So anyway, uh, there's not really much to this. <laughs> um, and so my strategy is to just every day observe and fight back. Um, I don't necessarily want to spray. Uh, yeah, I could use Castile soap. Um, You know, something like diatomaceous earth. Um, but anyway, part of the point of going live right now is to let everyone know we're going to be broadcasting for two straight days from, uh, you know what I can do? From uh, Canacon in Oklahoma City. Uh, look at that. Oh my gosh, I forgot to give you your close up. All right, now let's get you. Yeah, I think those are definitely egg, or my guess is that's a little egg sack off the back leg that you were gonna lay on my. Oh, nice, Cade. Well, uh, so Brian and Daguerre are, uh... yeah. So Brian and Daguerre are there, uh... I'm looking at you, Cade. Uh, we may be set up in the exhibit hall. Um, we're trying to figure out with Canacon where to put the dab bar. Uh, all right, so we got that guy, but a this guy is, where'd you go? Let's find my finger. Fuck is sorry. Trying to find oh this guy is much easier. Aha. There you are. And let's see if this lighting. There we go. Mr. Toad, we'll see you on Saturday, brother. I've been stuck at a desk packing your seeds up all week.
It is. That's what I said, Mr. Toad. That was my best guess because it was on my uh, uh, shard. I should have cut the whole uh, stem off and put that under the... Uh, yes, you do indeed, Mr. Toad. They're selling like hotcakes. Oh, and actually, <laughs> I should. better than sharding is... Uh, hold on. Cheddar Bob, I'm going to blow your mind in one second. Okay, we got the sneak preview. Today is the tease, so one second with the, uh, oh my goodness. This is Cheddar Bob inspired. Hold on, I don't wanna give it away just yet. It's fucking hard to put two gloves on. Boom! <laughs> what do you think, Cheddar Bob? That was Cheddar Bob inspired Daguerre handcrafted in Colorado. But anyway, I'm ready to to step in the ring with Gemma, like Will Ferrell in whatever movie it was where he goes, oh, now what, oh no, it's Kramer. Doesn't Kramer and Seinfeld like get in a fight with a bunch of little kids? <laughs> so anyway, uh, everyone have a good one. Uh, I'm gonna go back to, well actually no, sorry, I, I gotta start prepping, um, interviews and conversations for tomorrow so we could go in an extraction direction because there are a lot of uh people focused on extraction as speakers so you guys let me know uh, obviously there's the cultivation direction but uh i also like to do stuff that's kind of outside like for example there are a lot of hydrocarbon extraction people and it's not really my jam but it's like interesting to hear where we are with something like that so uh yeah charging 50 how about 50 cents every time it's used it's a usage uh charge <laughs> i want daguerre to get uh speaking of nicknames i love standing coma which is what he should put on his gloves uh, Joe, they're going to be both there, but I just noticed as speakers, there are a lot of hydrocarbon people. So I thought it'd be cool to just kind of get a state of the union on what the f people at the forefront of hydrocarbon extraction are doing and thinking about. Um, water is a solvent. Neon, Neon Love Machine. I know that guy. Uh, I have some of his uh, extracted goodness uh so anyway um yes yeah, solvent less would be uh to be completely specific would be like a dry sift i agree water is a solvent but uh to the new viewers we focus a lot on ice water hash and uh so also there is a um Okay, I got a Heisen herb saying yes, no one ever talks about solvent extra. All right, so we'll do a deep dive. And I know Daguerre is a big dabber, so maybe uh, Standing Coma can lead the conversations on what. All right, this guy's not moved. And then his little buddy is right. Where are you?
you hide in, brother? There you are. All right. Yes, get out. Yeah, popping these things is very satisfying. They're like pimples. Which I guess on the downside means they've, they've definitely been enjoying the plant sap. If anyone watched Bruins games in the 80s on channel 38, whenever the broadcast would start, it was the My God, dude, slow down. Slow down, brother. Wait, who is that? It's a baby. <laughs> yeah, I've also been battling battling slugs, which uh, I've been going outside with Gemma every night, and uh, as they come into the raised beds to munch on all the leafy greens, and. Well, I think slugs are actually kind of cute <laughs> and wacky. Uh, not when they're eating all my my tatsoi and han tsai tai and other leafy Asian greens. My God, dude. Slow down, motherfucker. All right, I am doing my best to keep this dude in <laughs> on screen. All right, anyway, we'll let him just keep going in a circle. But anyway, uh, with that, any... Chris Guerrero, can you resend him? Uh, I am overwhelmed with people hitting me on different... Uh, wh was that on Instagram that you sent him? For the slugs or for... Yes, if we're being super technical, those are all solvents. Uh, yeah, with the slugs, I finally just got sluggo and uh, <laughs> put it around the beds. Uh, ah, eggshells for slug control. Well, actually, no, so... Uh, I actually watched a YouTube as I was doing my research on what I should do for my slugs besides picking them off one by one and <laughs> throwing, launching them across the street catapult style. Um, someone did an experiment where they actually crushed eggshells and put it around the food source and the slugs were just like, you know, like do 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 unfazed by the, um, by the, uh, the eggshells. I mean, I'll test it myself, but uh, uh, Chris Guerrero is watering the... Chris Guerrero, would you like to come on and show us your... Um... Ah, nutritional yeast. It's the mo oh, because d does it like blow up in their stomach? Mr. Toad. Yeah, I need... <laughs> If my wife would let me keep chickens outside. Well, oh, so I did put copper. I put copper tape. So I have the grassroots four by four raised beds. And I literally, you know, the side of the bed comes up and then you have the, uh, the PVC. And I literally uh, just put tape all around. Uh, But yeah, I'll try the so the nutritional yeast like the dried form, because I actually have some bread uh, starter in the fridge. Yeah, I did the beer. Um, and it uh, it, <laughs> it it was the uh, the intersection of my enjoyment of drinking beer and practical uses for uh, my backwash. So basically as the 
I almost had nothing left in the beer can and it was now warm beer. Uh, I'd put the cans outside and then as like the slugs definitely would come up and I just like push them into the beer and they'd plop in, but then they'd try to crawl up. Actually, Mr. Toad, I used, uh, I used the little solo cup, uh, from the clone you shipped me. Uh, that was the, uh, the, the beer pool of death for the slugs. Um, a swimming appointment. Nice. I need swimming appointments. I don't think I've ever had a swimming appointment, but Chris Guerrero is going to go swim, but we'll <laughs> bring him on another time to show the garden. I do want to get the garden tours going again. I, uh, it's a function of, it's like when I don't do shows, I actually get shit done. Oh, so here is, um, I've been harvesting, this is Sonora white wheat. So <laughs> yeah, the bone clone has multiple uses. <laughs> so yeah, no, I had like 30 dead slugs in the bottom of it. And then of course, like I let the beer sit like that in the baking sun for the next two days. And, uh, and then there were just a bunch of dried dead slugs. Um, and, uh, but yeah, so this, uh, for people who have been receiving seed packs recently, I've been randomly putting, uh, vegetable seeds in like corn and uh what do we have over there we got daikon well actually that's why the shard <laughs> that's why i'm so fiercely protective of the shard with these fuckers because uh i want to send those seeds out to people um but basically this is a sonora white wheat and then i just planted a ton of barley and farro and probably I did dump them in the compost. Yes. That is exactly where they went into the uh, compost. And, uh, and then the plants are going to get their revenge by a little role reversal of who eats who. Yeah, I don't really have toads uh, around here. But yeah, toads would be. <laughs> toads would be good. So. Um, I'm trying to think of some house. All right. So anyway, tomorrow. So yeah, my focus today is uh, Brian and Daguerre are in Oklahoma. Uh, we got some sponsors. We got Green Bros. Uh, Royal Gold, uh, BioAg, and Bovida um, have thrown down some cash to underwrite the the Thelma and Louise road trip uh, out to Oklahoma City from Denver, and uh, so we appreciate that. And sorry, I'm trying to get this guy back. Well, he is totally not in All right, where actually I could yeah see it. all right can we all guess that are those eggs on the back leg let me zoom out there we go that should make following you easier there you are all right, of course, now you can't see the things on the back leg, but anyway, do we have a guess for, <laughs> yeah, that is amazing. Uh... Well, uh, so Chris, I think it's missing, oh wait, well, I think it's missing the rest of the leg. Let me, where'd you go, little brother? There 
is my thumb. All right, let's zoom in while tracking you. Look at that. Okay. Motherfucker, slow down. Slow down. Jesus. I mean, he's just literally going around the outside of the Petri dish in circles. Stop. Oh, money shot. Uh, focus. Oh, he's climbing down. All right. There we go. All right. Boom. Where'd you go? Back up. Back it up. Back it up. All right. Now. Yeah, it looks like he's lost his back left leg. No, don't go off. All right, sorry, I'm trying to get him back in focus. All right, anyway, that's enough of that. Okay, so with that, Yes, that is, uh, well, I think technically Frass is the poo. Chitin, uh, where'd that comment just go? Yeah. Uh, am I correct that Frass, the technical definition would just be the nutritious poo out the backside and not also the body parts? What, Cheddarbot? I don't know about that. Insect Frass. Insect frass, such as mealworm castings, is simply the feces of the insect. Uh, insect exoskeleton. Exoskeleton. Is, I believe that's just chitin. Right? Who's texting me? Daguerre and Brian. From the floor. Uh, okay, they are trying to set up, but they did get the press passes. Press. Um, all right. All right, I'm going to go with Mr. Toad on this one. The frass is full of chitin. It does have chitin in it. And the in, the chitin to chit chitinase. Uh, chitinases are the enzymes that degrade chitin. Anyway, we're gonna have future conversations where we break down chitin and chitinase. Uh, chitinases are enzymes that degrade chitin. So you need that as well to make the chitin bioavailable to your roots. Uh, fugal predator? Fungal predators. Uh, Rodrigo, congratulations. I cannot wait to come visit you in Argentina. We'll do the... the uh, Tierra del Fuego up to the Andes uh, road trip. All right, so anyway. Uh, yes, that was an aphid. Uh, 
the Oklahoma, it's Canicon OKC. Um, Spin B, you should make the drive. Uh, I, I know Brandon Rust is going to be there. Uh, uh, Sam from Soilscape. Uh, Lance, Sir Lancelot, Lance Lambert. Green's got us. That's not this weekend. It's tomorrow and tomorrow. So Thursday and Friday. Uh, so anyway, with that, I'm going to uh, get back to scheduling all the uh, Canacon conversations. But yeah, if anyone's there, uh, I don't know exactly where we'll be set up. But uh, uh, yeah, I will not be going on that fantastic trip, but I will be appreciating it from uh yeah Gemma <laughs> Gemma is going to be helping out uh after school today uh she's going to be putting together some lettuce seed packs uh specifically uh uh what is it Tom Tom Thumb Lettuce Let's see, yeah, that is what I grew last year, and uh, I have a whole lot of seeds that I am now putting in little, actually I can do a show and tell. So we got things like cauliflower seeds or seed pods into little packages. So anyway, <laughs> if you ever want to embark on a tedious project, uh, that is a rabbit hole <laughs> that I've gone down for the past like week and a half of just sitting at a table and uh, I do not have AC in the garage. I do not have heat in the garage. Uh, yes, the Shaman Tobacco. Uh, so I have all these uh, mason jars and then the little pods go in here so anyway this is the uh i'm gonna put gemma in charge of all vegetable seed production um she wavers in her enthusiasm she does like it she likes hanging out in the garden and doing stuff together which is uh makes me happy if we can have those life experiences together where she may not appreciate it at age six, but like 30 year old version of her will appreciate the, the youth spent in the garden. So uh, let us Ah, slugs produce helmet. Yeah, that's true. Well, they're poop, right? Yeah, that's the uh, that's the goal, and then also to create like the little family business that they can participate in. So. Anyway, with that, uh, I will see all of you most likely starting tomorrow morning. Uh, we'll announce, I'll try to announce, I don't know what time we're gonna start. Um, what is the green cauliflower for and seed package? Well, that's for doing whatever you would like to do if you had some green cauliflower seeds, such as crazy things like planting them and growing them and eating them. 
So that is what I would personally do with those green cauliflower seeds. Uh, what you do with them is up to you. Uh, yeah, now that's actually that's the goal. So um, Alex Hardy sent me a ton of his uh, blue corn, which I'm growing out right now and uh, sending those out. But yeah, that's kind of the idea is like, and if people are watching and have been growing something cool out, like send me the seeds and I'll get them out to other people. Um, but yeah, the idea is like, you know, a cool tomato. I, actually, the tomatoes I'm growing right now, I love. Um, and then Elka sent me a bunch of his tomato seeds to, uh, to, uh, yeah, the gen. Well, that that that's actually where my head's at. Uh, in the slowly but surely, uh, the what is it? Johnny's seeds and Baker. Creek, uh, I'm trying to remember the names. I have their catalog. Um, uh, I didn't have any problem with the cauliflower. Um, but right now I have, uh, what, what was Green Goddess's question? To, uh, yes, we could do that. Um, and I just totally lost my train of thought. Oh, no. Oh, so right now I'm growing, uh, a ton of barley, farro, asparagus, cucumber. I'm trying to, I actually, I'm trying to grow stuff that when it makes seeds, they come in kind of pods like, uh, I don't really feel like picking cucumber seeds out of the inside. Well, it's just not like super hard, but anyway, to then put in these little packages, I like the idea of anything that makes pods. Pepper, yes, that's, uh, uh, I was gonna grow a Scotch bonnet, um, which uh, my friend Colin from college his dad he's from trinidad and his dad uh clyde made his own hot sauce out of scotch bonnet and it was the hottest hot sauce i've ever had in my life to this day um and so i've always wanted to grow that out myself and then i obviously like uh sweet pepper like the small uh red yellow and orange uh, that I'm going to find out. I've never grown asparagus before. So, uh, yeah, I grew watermelon last season. Um, and, uh, winter squash. Actually, I should plant some zucchini. I'm trying to think of like all the things we eat a lot of at home. And then just growing that stuff, so I always have it. Uh, so anyway, I, I think one of the things that's cool is is just over the past year, just the explosion of people home gardening and growing their own food. And I'd like to encourage, or yeah, I'd like to facilitate more of that happening as my small contribution, uh, if I can. So when people get random call it green cauliflower seed packs from me, just plant them. Uh, and, and the shaman tobacco, uh, I would not try to smoke a lot of it. Uh, I was thinking more as like a pesticide, um, and just as a cool plant to grow. Actually, one of the ones I want to get is uh, uh, if I can find coca seeds. Um, I think it'd be really cool if people, you know, like it doesn't have to go straight to cocaine. It could be like in South America, people chew the leaves. 
Um, Mr. Toad will be giving us a little tour. Uh, yeah, these tobacco aren't like your Marlboro tobacco, though. This is, uh, I think, over 9% nicotine. So it's uh, it's not to be fucked with. <laughs> Cacao, the safe word. Um, you got them on Reddit? Yeah, that could be. Yeah, well, I, I for all of this stuff, I don't just want to randomly get seeds that I don't really know where they came from because then if I'm going to give them out to other people, I kind of want to know um, where it came from. But uh, I was thinking of asking breeder Steve on his next trip down to Columbia to bring back some seeds of non-cannabis uh, plants, which I think would be kind of cool. Or, or if anyone from Columbia is watching <laughs> and you want to send me a letter in the mail, I'd be happy to accept it. Uh, yep, I agree. All right, well, with that, I'm going to, yeah, no, that's what I was talking about, uh, is basically this stuff, I mean, maybe put a little bit in your spliff, but uh, I would not only put this tobacco as like a cigarette, because you will start hallucinating, sweating, and throwing up. So our outro will be my little buddy. Where'd you go? All right. Why? Oh, there you are. Okay, he slowed down. All right, let's get the back leg. All right, it's a little too dark, but anyway. <laughs> that is the dark, blurry back leg of what most of us think is a black bean aphid. So, uh, yeah, no, that part I know. That's why, I, like... <laughs> It can't be that complicated to get a couple of them. Um, actually, I should do the, uh, like you get suggested uh, on YouTube, I always get suggested like the insect war stuff. So maybe I'll find a predator and we can watch the battle or not really a battle but the savage sucking out of the innards of this guy or his buddies all right have a good Wednesday, everyone. Mr. Toad, I will definitely see you Saturday. Um, Cheddar Bob, you're still lurking. We got the uh, uh, mystery machine was James Loud. Whoop. All right, see ya, peace out. Oh yeah, and just whoever's uh, in Oklahoma, uh, ping me, Brian, or Daguerre, um, find them, uh, and we'll, for the rest of us not in Oklahoma, we will virtually be joining the party. And uh, yes, I... Uh, 
We had a bunch of them last summer, but I haven't seen any outside uh, in the past couple months. All right. See everyone.